okay we're going to add a discount to an invoice before you send it to a customer. So if you want to give them some money off as an amount or a percentage from the standard gross sale price that they would normally get. Please, first of all, don't confuse this with giving prompt payment discounts. That's a whole different ball game and is treated differently. This is purely straightforward. You're going to send an invoice to a customer and you're giving them some money off. So first of all, I'm going to show you how it affects your accounts. So if I open this in a in a new window, new tab rather, and I am constantly opening new tabs in QuickBooks so that I can flick back and forth to different screens. So if that's not something you do, it will save you a lot of time and, and, and headache. And I'm looking for the discounts given income code. If you see that here, if I just quickly take you into the setup of it, you'll see how the effect. So it's an actual income code and it's actually called discounts or refunds given. Now, what, what that is basically means every time you give a refund, it puts a negative amount in your income part of your profit and loss. So it reduces your sales by that amount. But the beauty of it is that in your profit and loss, you still show the full amount of sales that you invoiced and the discount is shown separately afterwards. So you can actually see what your sales would have been minus the discount. So what you actually sold. So then what we need to do, so I'll leave that open actually. And if I open um, another screen, And what we want to do is add an invoice. Come on, little baby. And just a normal way, pick a customer. So we're at Freeman Sporting Goods. Your dates, your... This one does automatic invoice numbers, but if you've got it set up to do it yourself, you'd add your invoice number in. And then pick whatever you're going to sell them. So um, I'll just put P. So we're going to sell them some pumps. I'm going to sell them 24 pumps. The rate is 15. So here you can see they're going to be charged 360 pounds. So what I want to do is if I give them it as a percentage, I can put in 15% and it will take away the amount for me automatically, or I can put it in as a value amount. And so instead I'll put it as 45. Oh, what do we have it? We had it at 54. So let, let's stick to the same principle. So that's the value. So let's just say we're going to keep it at that. So we save that invoice. If we then go back to the chart of accounts and let's find discounts given, and uh, we're going to run a report. If we look at what the report shows, if you see Freeman Sporting Goods, we've got there's our invoice there. And we gave them a discount and a discount given is 54 pounds so as you can see if you look at the balance these are the invoices where we've been given discounts so far the balance we took a discount 30 50 so the balance was reduced by that that's our income balance on our income and expense statement or our profit and loss that reduced it again by 80 75 and there's our one that's reduced it by 143 so 54 pounds is made the balance that so, so far we've given discounts to date or within whatever period this report, um, this is shown for 90 days, is shown that we've given discounts of 158.50 and just for argument's sake, let's go to a profit and loss. And let's, okay, let's just say this year to date then, shall we? And you see that's our income and there we have it, our discounts given. So you can clearly see the difference between the two. Ordinarily, what some people would do is this would just be the, the figure minus that. But you want to see your actual breakdown of what you're giving giving away effectively so that you are actually saying, well, I'm making the sales, but I'm actually giving some discount for whatever reason. And that's it, really. Thanks for watching.